going on YouTube. Last night's videos were all thriller, no filler. Tonight's video, probably going to be all filler with no thriller. But I did get a pretty awesome mail call from that uh, green light turbo IndyCar green machine I found. Got my trade in the mail. That is pretty filthy, I think. I can't wait to get that out of the package. The uh, rally stripes have like black ghost flames in them. It's sick. I'll get that opened up. I got some other greenies that I'm waiting on. And when they show up, I will definitely crack some of them open. But for this video, we're going to crack some Hot Wheels. Not really my thing. But, um, got to do it. We're going to start with this. 2001 Acura Integra GSR Zamac. Now these, um, I got all of these from the Toy Pimp with the Konami. <coughs> because the guy specializes in JDM. And his JDM stuff that he has for sale is totally ridiculous and uh, it's it's just bad it's bad because you go see it you, if you're like me you gotta break out the uh, pocketbook this thing is pretty dope I actually like it quite a bit I like this casting it's a little bit out of scale it's a little big but not bad so that's pretty sweet there. I wish they would put some real riders on those Zaymax. Um, Alright, so on this Fast and Furious set, I'm going to go from my least favorite. And I'm just going to work my way to the most favorite based on my current... Um, the current uh, phase that I'm going through with the Japanese nostalgic stuff. Alright, I'll start with these three and then we'll reassess after that. So the first one I'm going to crack open here is, I think, the worst car in the set. It's been out in the main line. I think all these have. This is the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. It's a weak casting, I think, from Hot Wheels. Most of their castings are. They do have some that are pretty cool. And you do have to keep keep the price in perspective. These are only dollar cars. It is cool that it has a little bit of detail with the brake lights. You want to see a good Grand Sport casting? Look at Johnny Lightnings. It has some pretty good detail. But uh, this is way out of scale also. So this one will probably go in my Chevy, my Hot Wheels Chevy bin. Um, next up, and I actually do like these quite a bit. I'm a big Mopar fan, and I am a fan of the Roadrunner, so I do like this one. But with that said, it's going to go into my Mopar bucket. All of these are going to go in the Hot Wheels mainline bucket, except for the Skyline is going to go into my Skyline collection. But uh, this thing is pretty sweet. I like the color. It's like a gunmetal gray. Black wheels. Pretty awesome. I would love to see them make these, instead of 96 cents, make these two dollars and 96 cents and put some real riders on them that is my suggestion all right so the third one i'm going to crack open is the porsche not a big fan of this i think this is the older tool there's a newer tool out that they should have used and uh, i don't know for sure but this looks a lot like the older tool which isn't nearly as nice but 
Oh well, I got a decent little Hot Wheels Porsche collection that this will make its way into. Not too terrible. All of these are way out of scale. It's funny when you start collecting scale stuff and dabble in Hot Wheels a little bit, you realize how bad the scale really is. Uh, this is nice. This is, I think, the nicest Toyota Supra that they have ever brought out. And I cannot wait for that Tamika Supra, the premium. I don't do a lot of Tamika premium, but that is one that I will definitely pick up. As well as the Prelude from the Limited Vintage. I'll be getting both of those. Look at that back end. That For a mainline Hot Wheels, that is nice. It's all tampoed, so nothing too fancy. But when you compare this, look at the headlight tampos. Very nicely done. When you compare this to some of the others that they brought out, to me, this is nicer than the, Sup than the Supra Super. I think this is a nicer looking car. And it's just plain, but it just, uh, it's amazing how far this detail goes. That is awesome. All right, now we're getting into the four, the four nicer cars, in my opinion. Well, we'll start with this Subaru WRX STI. Awesome little car. And I should have brought my Kyo show out to compare. This one actually is probably pretty close to scale. It's a little big, but I think this in comparison to the Kyo show, they're they're pretty close. But this is pretty sweet. It would be a hundred times better if it had the brake lights and the headlights. But you only get two passes through the tampo machine. Uh, on these sets, these subsets like this, it might be three. Uh, one for the hood and one for each side. And uh, with the Supra, the two passes were the headlights and the brake lights. With the Porsche, your two passes were the GTR S or GT3 RS on each side. Those are your two passes on that. The Zamax, you get more just because there's no paint so they're saving it that way but typically general rule of thumb with a mainline hot wheel two passes all right um this this car is sick i love this car i had a whole bunch of the mainline but this looks so much nicer because of the wheels and the paint and uh man i would love to see kyosho or Tamika bring this casting out. This is the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. The paint on this is it's just wicked cool compared to the main line. A lot of metal flake, a lot of sparkle. But yeah, this this thing is awesome. I wish I had a steady hand. I would detail this out. Nice wheels. So that's a cool little Ford Escort. And then the last two are going to be the hardest two to find. I think it's probably debatable which, which one is being scalped up more. Actually, it's not. Not from what I've seen. From what I've seen, the skylines are are just impossible to find. But the next the next hardest car to find is your Honda S two thousand, and uh, it's easy to see why. Because I think this potentially could be the nicest car in the set. Do have headlight details, which is awesome. I'm a big fan of that. Red interior, nice looking wheels. It's got it's got a great stance to it. 
And I think the only other S2000 casting I have is from the Cool Classics with that Spectrofrost Antifreeze color. And uh, I do dig that car. This one looks really good, though. They uh, skipped out on the brake light detail, but other than that, it is pretty sharp looking. Awesome. A lot of sculpted detail in this car. So that's really cool there. And then the last car and the hardest one to find, the scalpers are going bananas over this thing. Oh, I actually have two. I have one from a previous release. I think this latest one is the third time they brought it out. But uh, this release here is from 2013. You can see the hood has a couple of stripes on it. That's the big difference between this one and the new one. The new one, just like this one, has all the brake light detail. Also has the side indicators all detailed. The big difference is the, uh, the stripes on the hood. This is the, the new release. You can see... You have your tampoed indicator on the uh, quarter panel. All your brake lights are detailed, but just a silver hood. So, but it's still a nice R34, and it'll be a nice skyline to add to my skyline collection. That silver is really sharp looking. It looks. I mean, just like anything else, it looks a hundred times better when you take it out of the package. Very, very nice car. I wonder if uh, any of these made their way out with factory custom paint, like the main line. That is a sharp looking car. R34 Skyline. So that'll go in the Skyline Jammer. And uh, not nearly as exciting as last night. But that's not going to happen very often because those cars, you just don't come across stuff like that very often. So um, I did let him know how much I enjoyed getting getting them and taking them out and taking a look at them so hopefully he'll find another 10 or 15 car lot just like that that I can uh, acquire to do the same thing but there you go fast and furious with the uh, Zamac Integra I guess it kind of fits in but this guy and this guy and this guy are your three stars of this set. But I don't know. I don't really compare to uh, all of these Japanese gems behind them. This thing is pretty sweet too, actually. I know I showed this the other day. I cracked this open. It's a little Infinity, what is that, G37? Mainline Hot Wheels. It doesn't look too bad. Really doesn't look too bad. So, that's it. I'm not biased. I don't, uh, I don't favor Japanese stuff over anything else lately I do but that's how I collect I go through weird phases like I don't know for those of you that have watched my videos for a while you know exactly what I'm talking about I'll go through an ultra red phase then a green machine phase I went through a huge Johnny lightning phase um, yeah I'm just kind of all over the place but this stuff back here is, the, I get more excited about this stuff than any other chase car or super or green machine. To me, this stuff is 
just so much cooler, so much better to have, in my opinion. But uh, anyways, that's the video. So in the next couple days, I will be cracking this really cool looking black band at Chevelle. 1972 so stay on the lookout for that and until then I will holler at the next video